I'm Steve Redgrave. I used to be an Olympic athlete, competed at five Olympic Games from 1984 to 2000 and won a gold medal at each one of them. It was the first day of going back training and uh, I was very, very thirsty. And uh, my grandfather had diabetes in his late uh, 60s, early 70s. Uh, so I knew a little bit about the condition. So that's why I went and saw my GP the next day. And it was confirmed that uh, I did have diabetes. Then I was expecting him to tell me that that was it, that was my rowing career over. And then he said to me, he said, um, I don't see why not you can't achieve your dreams in three years time of competing at the Sydney Olympics and uh, uh, winning another gold. Well, yeah, if, if he thinks I can do it, I'll give it my best shot to try and do that. Uh, he did say it was going to be very difficult uh, and he was certainly right about that. It certainly wasn't an easier path uh, through the last three years leading up to 2000. Um, but um, uh, we got there and achieved. Big shock to my, my parents. My wife being a doctor is very sort of matter of fact about it and saying, well, this is something we have to deal with and we'll, we'll get on with it. I've been able to help to change the, the view of, of, of diabetes, um, where especially youngsters were wrapped up in cotton wool and not allowed to go and, and, and be as active uh, as some of the diabetics are now. I'm supposed to be a type 2 diabetic. There is some debate about this, but the, the way that, uh, that I had to treat my condition was uh, by injecting insulin, because um, it gave me the flexibility of being able to try to stay as a, as a top class athlete. Of being able to control it by diet, it just wouldn't have happened because I wouldn't have been able to get the energy. Have I changed my lifestyle? No, I don't think I have. Is that um, um, it has to, it has to, to deal with me, um, not the other way around. Diabetes had to live with me, not me live with diabetes. So even when I retired uh, from the sport in 2000, my lifestyle is not set into routines, but um, I wasn't doing the same amount of exercise as I was when I was an athlete. So we decided that we would try the, the pump, probably about uh, three, four years ago now. And um, um, it was a, a big success. My averages started coming down, my control was, was, was a lot better. I've now sort of uh, grown to, uh, to, to, to live with my, with, with my pump. And because the pump gives you a small amount of insulin 24 hours a day. I think my health is better, my energy is better. If you're a non-diabetic, your body is testing your blood sugar levels every fraction of a second, 24 hours a day. I'm only doing mine 10 times a day. With the pump and, and uh, the sensor system is that you get a graph and so you know if it's rising, falling, staying the same. And the more information you've got, the easier it is to deal with the condition and, and keep, keep the condition under control. I think now of, of, of the knowledge, and especially with the, the, the sensor uh, monitoring system of, of being able to, to see your blood sugar levels on a graph, uh, actually on, on the device itself, is that uh, yes, definitely. I would, uh, I, would, I would be now using it within, within my sport. There's a formal race across America called the Ram, which is 3,000 miles uh, across from west coast to east coast. So there's a group of eight of us doing this formal race. 12th of June it starts. And um, um, one of those sort of crazy things which I wish I hadn't uh, said that I would do because the training's quite, quite tough and I'm not really a cycling frame. They tend to be uh, a lot smaller, a lot lighter people than, uh, than, than rowers. I suppose the bits of advice I could give people um, is that when you're first diagnosed, it's quite a lot of trauma in your life. You're expected a lot of change. You're given a lot of information. And uh, that, that try and take in as much of that information as you can, but also ask questions. Not everybody can be an Olympic champion, but also don't let it stop you achieving what, what you want to achieve.